In the fall of 2020, the U.S. Transportation Command announced an alliance between the U.S. military and Elon Musk's SpaceX to analyze the feasibility of sending missiles with payloads to specific destinations around the globe. The rocket mail idea is not something new. The concept was first tried during the Cold War arms race when missile technology was used to intimidate the opponent, but it was eventually discarded. Should the resurfaced idea come to fruition as part of the joint agreement, delivering correspondence by using rockets could be just the beginning of a new means of military transportation. The beginning of rocket mail. Throughout history, governments from numerous nations have explored faster and more efficient forms of mail delivery. The United States Post Office Department, later USPS, has been a pioneer in mail delivery methods from its inception in 1792. The government branch always broke new ground with technology that is now commonplace, such as trains, four-wheeled vehicles, and airplanes. However, it's a little-known fact that the post office was also a pioneer in another chapter of mail delivery, missile mail. One of the first American attempts to deliver mail using a missile happened on February 23, 1936, when two rocket airplanes were launched from one side of the Greenwood Lake in New York to its other side in New Jersey. The 100-yard delivery was unsuccessful, as the plane was unable to even lift off from the ground. On June 8, 1959, Postmaster General Arthur A. Summerfield attempted the most daring rocket mail delivery yet. He coordinated an operation in which the Navy submarine USS Barbaro, located off the Florida coast, would fire a guided missile containing over 3,000 pieces of mail to a naval air station in Mayport. The letters inside the missile were copies of text written by Postmaster General Summerfield to President Eisenhower, Vice President Nixon, and countless government officials and Postmaster Generals from different countries. At a pace of 600 miles per hour, the device traveled over 100 miles from the USS Barbaro deck to the air station in just 22 minutes. The missile crash-landed a few miles away from the destination, and a worker from the Mayport Air Station had to drag them back to the post office. Postmaster General Summerfield was ecstatic over the achievement, as they had used missile technology for the greater good, right in the middle of the Cold War arms race. Summerfield was confident that this was just the beginning of groundbreaking mail delivery technology, claiming that, quote, This peacetime employment of a guided missile for the important and practical purpose of carrying mail is the first known official use of missiles by any post office department of any nation. Before man reaches the moon, mail will be delivered within hours from New York to California, to Britain, to India, or Australia by guided missiles. The 1959 USS Barbaro test is considered the first official U.S. missile mail launch. But despite Summerfield's optimism, history would eventually prove him wrong. The Next Frontier After the successful 1959 missile mail launch in Florida, the U.S. government could not justify the expense and risk of rocket mail delivery and invested in more conventional delivery methods. But 60 years later, the American Post Office's pioneering idea was given another chance. On October 7, 2020, in a National Defense Transportation Association virtual conference, Army General Stephen Lyons announced that the U.S. military had asked SpaceX and a consulting firm called the Exploration Architecture Corporation to explore the feasibility of sending rockets with payloads around the globe. According to the official press release, the military has, quote, examining the use cases, technical and business feasibility, and concepts of employing space as a mode of transportation, supporting U.S. Transcom's role as the Defense Department's global logistics provider. In contrast to General Summerfield's idea, the delivery payloads would be more ambitious than plain handwritten letters. The new investigation's objective is to send urgently needed supplies to American troops stationed anywhere on the planet in a matter of minutes. Under the joint deal, known as the Cooperative Research and Development Agreement, the two private companies would volunteer valuable time and resources to work with the United States Transportation Command. This military organization was founded in 1987 and coordinates the logistics and delivery of weapons and other materials to troops around the world. Rocket travel would bring tremendous benefits to military transportation. If the objective is accomplished, rocket mail will join planes, trucks, and ships in the military's fleet of transportation vehicles. According to Army General Lyons, quote, Think about moving the equivalent of a C-17 payload anywhere on the globe in less than an hour. Think about that speed associated with the movement and transportation of cargo and people. There's a lot of potential here, and I'm really excited about the team that's working with SpaceX on an opportunity, even perhaps as early as 2021, to be conducting a proof of principle. While a C-17 Globemaster heavy transport aircraft would take 12 hours to fly from California to Japan, a rocket departing from a base in Southern California could theoretically enter low Earth orbit and then re-enter the atmosphere anywhere on the planet in less than an hour. Army General Lyons did not specify the vehicle or launch device that the military plans to use in a demonstration expected to happen in 2021. 
but many experts have theorized that both SpaceX's Falcon 9 workhorse or its Falcon Heavy powerhouse could be suitable candidates for the mission. Another possibility is SpaceX's upcoming Starship launch system, a fully reusable two-stage rocket capable of hoisting 220,000 pounds of cargo to orbit. In comparison, the C-17 Globemaster's capacity is 165,000 pounds. Exploring Options SpaceX has emerged as a space powerhouse. Supported in part by NASA contracts, expertise, and capital, the company had been discussing the idea of commercial flight and cargo delivery with the military since 2018. Under the Cooperative Research and Development Agreement between the U.S. military, SpaceX, and the Exploration Architecture Corporation, two possible rocket transportation modes are being researched. The first alternative encompasses a direct flight from a space base in the continental U.S. In contrast, the second mode involves delivering supplies in orbit on a spacecraft that could quickly deorbit and land if necessary. Both options could provide goods to American troops stationed anywhere in the world in about an hour or less. If the rocket mail concept lifts off the ground and proves to be safe and cost-effective, private companies would be able to work with the military to ferry important cargo to the Moon and Mars in support of NASA, the Space Force, and the business sector. The Defense Department is also planning a long-term space transportation agreement regulation that would let the U.S. military approach private companies like SpaceX to respond to logistical emergencies without any delay or hesitation. The United States Transportation Command Deputy Commander, U.S. Navy Vice Admiral D. Mewborn, feels optimistic about the team effort, quote, For the past 75 years or so, we've been constrained to around 40,000 feet altitude and 600 miles per hour in our very fastest method of logistics delivery, airlift. Now, what are the possibilities for logistical fulfillment at about 10 times those figures when the need for support on the other side of the world is urgent? It's time to learn how our current strategies to project and sustain forces can evolve with a new mode of transportation. The Future Although the United States Transportation Command mentioned the possibility of test trials beginning as early as 2021 in their press release, there are still many logistical and engineering details to work out before moving on to an experimental phase. The idea of rocket mail is now technically feasible and has many potential benefits, but several factors could still render it impossible to commercialize. Rockets don't require in-flight refuelings like the C-17 and other cargo airplanes. They also don't need permission to fly over any nation while in space. These advantages make them safe for transporting sensitive information or material, as it is virtually impossible to shoot them down. However, one of the most considerable space travel dilemmas is the time it takes to plan the mission. While the rocket mail delivery flight would take less than an hour, planning could take days, weeks, or even months. A space operation cannot skimp on any matter. The process includes placing the rocket on a launch pad, filling it up with fuel, and installing the payload correctly. Rockets can only be launched in specific weather, and even the slightest change could delay the plan for months. Although construction of the first rocket mail booster prototype may have already begun, point-to-point -point flight tests on the planet are still years away. Still, the possibility of transporting humans between continents on Earth is not out of the question. But going back to 1959, the biggest hurdle that rocket flights face still remains their cost. SpaceX calculates that one operation could cost around $2 million at the very least. Meanwhile, a 12-hour flight from Los Angeles to Tokyo in a cargo airplane would cost approximately four times less. And yet, while space mail transport is currently considered too expensive for peaceful military activity, a potential war could tell a different story. Private companies could plan to deliver unlimited ammunition to any place in the world in a matter of minutes, changing the way that warfare is conducted forever. <laughs>